TNT South Africa CEO Cass Kavadia joining us on the line for expectations on this. Uh, Cass, we saw so many businesses come out saying that they can't afford a harder lockdown. What do you reckon? Yeah, well, that, that's correct. I mean, the economy can't afford a harder lockdown, but when we went into lockdown level three, Busa did say that we understand the situation the country is in. We were seeing exponential increases in uh, COVID-19 uh, infections. We now have a variant that's far more aggressive in transmitting the disease from person to person. And so we do find ourselves in a very, very difficult situation. Uh, the president did indicate that he would review going back to level three mid mid January. He's obviously reviewing it a bit earlier than that. We will see what the president says. There's no discernible decrease in the number of infections. In fact, we passed 20 or thousand a couple of days ago. Deaths continue to go up. So we're going to have to see how we manage this. I think there's absolutely no doubt that we have to concentrate on trying to bring the infections down. Uh, we need to concentrate on the hotspots that have been identified and whether we need more restrictions in those hotspots or not depends on what the president's advisors are telling him. But the most, probably the most critical issue right now, which we're working with government on and devoting a lot of time to, is to try and secure as expeditiously as possible vaccines and get them administered to as many people as possible, starting with our frontline healthcare workers. Yeah. So just in terms of the way forward, um, would you reckon that offices and companies operating at a 50 percent office capacity, is that a good way forward when it comes to staying active but still ensuring the safety of workers? You know, we need to try and keep the economy open as much as we can, whether it's 50 percent or something else. We need to keep it open as much as we can. We also need to understand that to have to put manufacturing activity at 50 percent capacity is difficult. Mm. Uh, you know, you can't just switch on and switch off machines to work half time. So we at an office, uh, you know, admin, admin work and more office and service related work, you could say that we're going to limit the amount of time at office and so on. But I think what we need to do is re-emphasize that those that can work from home, we now need to continue to work from home. We need to do as much business from home as possible. Where that's not possible, we need to ensure that health protocols are absolutely strict. If businesses aren't implementing them, there needs to be accountability for that. And we need to come together as a country to try and do that. And just for context, Cass, what has been the impact of this adjusted level three lockdown on business? You know, it's still early to say. I mean, it's 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 less than a month before since the lockdown was implemented. We'll we'll see the results in the first quarter uh, result as they come out. But there's undoubtedly been an impact on the liquor industry. Obviously, a mm -hmm. significant impact on the liquor industry. Obviously, a significant impact on tourism and hospitality. So so we get the figures. I mean, it's still too early, but, uh, you know, it's uh, you don't need to wait for the data to understand that on the liquor industry, tourism and hospitality, there have been significant impact. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Business yeah, Industry South Africa Bye. CEO Cass Kuvadia.